Let's watch this intro before I get into this film. This is the intro on this disc. It is absolutely incredible. In 3D, absolutely amazing, this intro right here. Got to see this intro in 3D. Everything's just popping out. Everything. It's amazing. Amazing intro. And we're going to be talking about one of those today out of that collection. Um, this is a 3D review on Amazing Africa. 3D, Amazing Africa 3D, otherwise known as Fascination Africa. So it's under two titles. This is currently 6.9 out of 10 on International Movie Database. It's 58 minutes long, 1.78 to 1 aspect ratio, so you will get the nice big screen. I couldn't find this on Rotten Tomatoes at all. Uh, DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, directed by Benjamin Eicher. Uh, and Timo Mayer, Benjamin Eicher and Timo Mayer, written by Benjamin Eicher, story by Benjamin Eicher and Timo Mayer, produced by Benjamin Eicher and Timo Mayer, uh, director of photography Benjamin Eicher and Timo Mayer, and narrated by Patrick Bayer. So, okay, so I saw this and I'm like, okay, what did I, what did I get here? Did I get some kind of a homemade deal here? I can't find it on Rotten Tomatoes. The same guys did everything. What, he got a couple of guys that, uh, just, then I read on the back, there's some drone footage in here, and I go, oh, okay, I see what I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get uh, a lot of historic clips and everything. Uh, nothing could be farther from the truth. We're gonna get into this in a second. This is, there's four, here's, here's, here's some of the, uh, some of the things I had trouble starting it. Uh, of course, it's in 40 languages, but I picked English, of course. It's hard to navigate the menus. It's just pictures because it's for 40 languages. But this is the first DVD that I noticed that if I don't start my player in 3D, I can't switch it to 3D once the uh, disc is in. So get your player hook, get your player on 3D. Don't try to switch it like you can on any other disc because you can't. So get your player on 3D, then pop the disc in and everything works fine. There is a lot of uh, amazing drone work in here. I, I know it's drone work, it says it's drone work, and one or two times I can see the shadow of the drone down on the ground. And you just can't get a helicopter as close to these animals as these guys get it. Um, great cinematography here, absolutely amazing cinematography. And filmed with 3D stereoscopic cameras. Now I can't get a whole lot of information on this, I can't get the type of cameras. There just is so little information about this. But so now I'm stuck with what's on the back of the disc and it is truly stereoscopic uh, cameras on the drone, stereoscopic cameras on the ground. Uh, it gives you a fresh look, a fresh look like you are there. Um, and then there's, they start telling these stories and the stories just start unfolding right in front of you. Uh, like, oh, here comes a wilded, here comes a wounded wildebeest and, uh, and the leper's gonna come down off the tree now and, and, you know, and you're thinking, well, maybe when they film that or they show me that, that's not that same wildebeest. But I'm telling you, man, these guys spent some time out here. These guys did some awesome, and the narration is incredible too, the narration. And they did some awesome storytelling and you're gonna see scenes of Africa you've never seen. And I, did, I didn't know there was so many types of gazelles. Uh, the, the facts are amazing. Uh, this is great for, uh, I'm going to say, kids up to a certain point, you know, uh, mainly young adults. You know, or anybody who wants to learn about Africa and these animals, it's, it's, um, it's great for young adults, not the, not the little ones. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of raw eating, 
here, a lot of vultures ripping things apart, a lot of raw eating. There's also raw mating footage. Uh, I was really surprised. I mean, uh, the lions just zooming right in there, man, and the lions are doing it, and then the leopards, you know, and they do it several times a day, and they talk about it, and uh, so they didn't cut any of that out. This is right there, man. You're right there on the ground during all of this. All right, so um, the soundtrack was good, but one thing I want to say about the soundtrack, and you can hear it here, there's always one annoying track mixed in with the sound. I mean, I could have... If I was mixing this sound, I would have took that one annoying track that was put in. A backing track of some type seemed to be annoying in several occasions, but you know what? Overall, it was great. So how am I going to rate this for a documentary? Well, this is a five out of five for African documentary. You're going to see footage and things you're, you've never seen before, and never see, you'll never see it anywhere else. Uh, and the music was good. How was the 3D? The 3D is fantastic. Five out of five on a 3D. Five out of five on a 3D. Five out of five on a documentary about Africa. All right. So that's my take on this. Did you see it? Did you see it in 3D? Did you see it in 2D? I don't know if this was ever in a theater or what. You know, it's, it's funny because it says Iker and Mayer presents. Iker and Mayer presents. So, you know, you're thinking, well, that must be some famous guys. But, you know, I can't find much about it. But I'll tell you what. This is a great pickup, great, great to watch for young adults, and great to watch if you want to learn a lot about Africa. It mainly follows the wildebeests and the zebras around Tanzania. It's a lot here. So leave some comments below. Let me know. Let me know if you've seen it. Let me know if you have any of those other ones that you saw in this intro. I'm thinking about picking up some of those because this was really, really good. I want you to stay safe. I want you to have a good night. Hit that like and subscribe button. Got a lot more reviews coming out. And as always, God bless.